Welcome to 2014. Now, domestic violence and firearms. That is the latest issue making headlines in the South Carolina governor's race. At issue, what Governor Haley said and did not say in last Tuesday's debate at Furman University. This was the question. Should the state make it easier for police to keep firearms out of the hands of convicted domestic violence offenders? You know, I have always believed in the Second Amendment. This was the answer that, for some, has created so much concern. Republican incumbent Governor Nikki Haley in last Tuesday's debate said that mentally ill people should not have access to firearms. But then this. But for everybody else, we want them to have the ability to protect their home, protect their children, protect their business. That had fellow candidates surprised. People who have been convicted of domestic violence shouldn't have guns. Uh, I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in protecting people's rights to guns. But abusers who have been convicted should not be having guns. And I'm a little surprised or shocked, actually, to hear Governor Haley say that she thinks it's okay. I was shocked that Governor Haley just totally uh, ignored the question. She never answered the question. And then, to make matters worse, after the debate, she had her handlers go out and try to spin what she did say. Monday morning in Greenville, petition candidate Tom Irvin, along with the executive director of Safe Harbor, took to the microphone to ask Governor Haley to explain herself. And one of the things that we know um, that will curb the deaths of women by men um, related to domestic violence would be um, limiting access of firearms for men who have been convicted of domestic violence crimes. Becky Callum says access to guns is only part of the problem. She says this response to the question also bothered her greatly. It's a cultural issue. It's a generational issue. And we want to get into those communities. Now this issue is again making headlines in a state that ranks at the top of the list for women killed by domestic violence. And here is a response from Governor Haley's spokesperson, quote, as the governor made clear last week, she believes South Carolina should have tougher penalties for those who commit criminal domestic violence. And that includes those who illegally obtain firearms after being convicted of CDV. The governor would absolutely support a South Carolina law that mirrors federal law and allows us to enforce the ban on those convicted of criminal domestic violence from possessing any kind of